Hey YouTube, Daniel here again from Twin Bites uh, with another tip for you. I've been asked on how to do a, a system restore of your computer going back to factory settings. Basically there's a, a number of methods you can use for this so it's going to be difficult to do that uh, for each model. When it comes to Windows itself doing a Windows system restore point which I have another video on which I'll link to uh, down here you can uh, do it with any hardware if it's Windows 7 it's going to be the same across Dell, HP, whatever the brand name is it's going to be the same but when it comes to restoring to factory settings that's going to be a whole other story so this is uh, some basic steps that we can follow depending on the make and model the first thing you want to do before you go through a system restore is to back up all of your data and write down all the settings like for your email for example because once you do a system restore it's going to wipe out everything your data your programs your settings so you get to reinstall all your programs reconfigure them repersonalize everything and put your data back on so make sure you've got everything recorded and backed up what you need before you do this to start the process of doing the system restore, you want to hit uh, one of these function keys. So as soon as you hit the power button, start pressing one of these buttons. It may be F8, or it could be F10, 11, or 12. You might even have to do control and then one of the function keys, like control F11 in, in some models. If you have to use the F8 key, it will normally give you the options to do safe mode and uh, one of these things. Now, one of the options that should appear is repair computer. So you click on repair computer and then within those options you'll have another screenshot similar to this here and you'll be able to uh, see an option hopefully that says restore computer back to factory settings now uh, you select that follow through the prompts it's pretty much completely automated and you're up and running again um, if you don't have that option then one of the F10 11 12 keys should start this process now if none of these options are working for you chances are you don't have a system restore partition available to do this or you do have one but something's happened to it and that became damaged as well and you're going to need to resort back to the original CD or DVD that came with the computer. If you don't have those discs or you didn't create any when you first got the computer you're going to have to call the manufacturer and order the discs so that uh, you can do the process with that uh, or just call your local tech expert and maybe they'll have a disc that they can use that's a generic disc that works with that license and they can get you up and running. The only difference with that is it won't recreate the system restore partition, but in a case like this, that restore partition wasn't any good for you anyway, so it probably doesn't matter at that point. As long as you're backing up everything regularly, you've got all your data, um, if you can't back up before doing this process, and that's uh, the whole reason why you're trying to do a system restore, uh, you get to pull the hard drive out hook it up to another machine like one of my other videos I showed you on how to do and that will allow you to back up your data and again if that's too much for you you'd have to get somebody else that has the equipment that can hook it up and help you out with backing up your data anyway that's it for this tip thanks a lot subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned for more info all right thanks a lot guys Bye.